This video is sponsored by Otis. Otis is a stock market for cultural assets where almost anyone can buy and sell shares of rare collectibles, sneakers, art, and of course, sports cards. Otis breaks up sports cards and other assets into fractional shares so you can buy a share of an expensive um, high-end card for as low as $10. Otis adds new assets every week. So I'm personally looking at their 2003 Topps Chrome Hobby Box. Of course, the year of LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. So as you can see here, the market cap is $54,700. So that's essentially um, the full asset price you would buy shares in at just $10 each. Um, so you can then potentially earn a return by either selling your shares to other members on the Otis platform or if Otis to sells one of the underlying assets you invested in for more than the price you paid um, you can make a return there so Otis covers all the information you need to make a smart investment they've got a good about section um, they've got recent sales they've got highlights they've got details um, so pretty much anything you need they've got appraisal details for art um, so whatever you need they likely have including risk factors um, so definitely if you guys would like to sign up for Otis use the link in my description and you can get your first share for free when you fund your account so the link is down below and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the video guys so in today's video we will be going over some cards that are dipping right now um you know for various reasons of course the market is not in its hottest position right now of course as we know um you know it's a, it the market had seen so much growth over the last three months that you know things have been in general cooling down um but the first card you know of course that is really dipping hard right now is jamal murray um you know of course he tore his acl unfortunately and this card dipped by over $100 in one day, um, practically. So this was a $440 card on April 11th, and as soon as the injury happened, it pretty much dipped down to around $300. Um, you know, the card is not in the best spot right now. As we can see, there's not many bidders at all. Um, so if you have Jamal Murray, you know, to be very honest, now may not be the time to sell. Um, you know, personally, for me looking at this, I could see a buying opportunity. If I could snag these, you know, for under a... Th under two to three hundred dollars you know that could be a good buy honestly um if you're willing to hold on to it until next season um you can see some great growth but yeah very unfortunate here um but in general there was one main you know type of card that i wanted to talk about for this video and that is the topic of base prisms um so as we know we have seen base prisms of pretty much all you know young players drop um and if not you know have not seen much growth at all um you know even the brightest young talents in the league such as Luka Doncic even Giannis um Anthony Davis Kawhi Leonard Trey Young Ja Morant you know these guys have all just been very stagnant slowly declining in price and yet what's very interesting to me is that we are still seeing you know certain colors go up um so as we see here we can go ahead search up up search up a Luka Doncic green prism um you know say in a PSA 10 and these are still doing very very well um so as we can see here investors are getting smarter um you know they're going for lower pop cards um you know they're going for pop you know I would say different variations of prism and where I personally see a lot of opportunity right now is going for variations um so as we see here for example um I know some draft classes did not have variations um but I know the 2019 draft class had prism variations and these cards you know are much much lower pop um compared to the base prisms and you know they don't hold a crazy premium um of course they do hold some sort of a premium over the base but I think that this is this gap is going to really widen you know over the next few months as we see here $616 when John Morant's base prism maybe around three to four hundred dollars um so that's essentially you know less than half the price of his base prism um I mean yeah less than double the price of his base prism sorry um but the pop is just so much lower um so you could see this really start to you know be the way to invest in these young stars um and another just very simple way to invest in these young stars is going for their silver prisms um and I think silver will typically be 
the way that, you know, investors go in the future, um, I really predict that silver is going to be essentially the new base. Um, and we saw that, you know, not a, we saw that not long ago with, you know, pl people going to invest in, you know, these Legends Tops Chrome Rookie cards. Of course, LeBron has the 2003 Tops paper, but that's not become his base rookie card. His base most investable rookie card has become his Tops Chrome. Um, and I think it's going to be very similar with the current market. I think, you know, the new players, you know, their Prism Silvers are going to be the way to invest. Not their prism base. Um, and that's definitely very, very interesting. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to see a big shift in the market, um, you know, with these new investors. And we're already starting to see it really happen. Um, you know, for example, Zion, you know, his prism silver is holding up quite decently. Um, however, his base is just tumbling. Um, so that's very, very interesting to me. And I definitely think it's something that new investors really have to pay attention to. Um, you know, population really matters. And that is why Select, you know, has been holding up much better than Prism over these last six months. Select has seen a lot more growth than Prism. Um, and that's very interesting. Select is a lot lower population than Prism. And a lot of investors are throwing a lot of money at Select right now. Um, so definitely very interesting to see the dip in base. You know, and Prism Silver's holding up, Prism Green's holding up, you know, Prism Variation's holding up. Um, so I think one very, very smart play, as I mentioned, go on for those Prism Variations. Um, you know, this is a very, very undervalued card, in my opinion. Um, you know, I just think with the pop so low, um, you know, investors are eventually going to catch up to these. Um, even Optic has a lot better population. Um, you know, in terms of population numbers, I think Optic is a better bet than Prism. It's still quite up there. Um, so you definitely want to be careful when throwing big money at these cards. Um, you know, just always... You know, the bigger population, the more demand has to always be there for the price to stay the same. Um, and that's very tough, you know, especially when the market is in a downturn. You know, and the demand is not quite there. Prices can fall, you know, on high pop cards because a lot of people are selling. Not many people are buying. Um, so going for these smarter options, Optic Hollows, Prism Silvers, Prism Greens, Prism Variations is going to be the key for investing in these young stars, in my opinion. Um, and we are also seeing a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a retraction in some of the cards that have been doing incredibly well recently, too. Um, so Kevin Durant, you know, this was a $12,000 card at once. It's dipping. You know, pretty much every card in the market is seeing a big dip. Um, you know, a lot of money right now is being poured into 2020 Prism, and I think that is one reason for the dip. A lot of money is being poured into the soccer market, the baseball market. Um, you know, it's kind of a dead time in the NBA before the playoffs when, you know, it's very shallow. There's not much excitement. You know, we're nearing the end of the season. You know, it's essentially that time of the year, every single year where, you know, things are going quite slow. Um, but in terms of basketball, you know, a lot of new product is releasing and, you know, there's so much money being poured into these cards. LaMelo's first Prism PSA 10 sold for $1,850. Um, so that was definitely very big. You know, there's just a lot of cool stuff happening with new product and a lot of big drops happening as well. So if we just look at some of the money being poured into these cards, I mean, people are spending $12,700 on some ungraded LaMelo Ball cards. Um, and I imagine all of this money will eventually be poured back into the GOATs once investors get smarter. Um, you know, they're going to eventually move a lot of this money into the GOATs, into more safe players. And we're going to see some big drops in these cards because this is just, you know, I, you can't even put into words how crazy you have to be to pay $12,700 for a LaMelo Ball card, um, you know, the same card you can get of Luka Doncic for nearly that price. Um, so it's very, very crazy to see the money being poured into this new, um, you know, t prism drop. Um, and in just the soccer market, that has been undervalued for a while. So I get that. But the amount of money being poured into these guys is just incredibly high. Um, so I think that's another reason for the drop in most of the cards we're familiar with. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, the link for Otis is down below. Um, let me know what else, you know, 
cards that are dropping. Let's have a discussion in the comment section below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.